Hey everybody, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, and welcome back to Gwender, a fantastic little map, but certainly a contrast compared to the Western Shore. We had so many things to do on the Western Shore, whereas on this map, eh, it's, just, uh, it's just kind of a map, you know? That's a little different. So I did get canola in all the fields, and we do have, as of right now, we have 98,000 liters of soybeans in the silo. Silo only holds 100,000 liters, and we had about 130,000. So I sold a little over 30,000 liters of soybeans last fall when we got done with harvest, and I bought more animals. I bought about a dozen more sheep. And they are reproducing starting this spring. They've made two on their own. They're making about one sheep per day. And they are making wool. And when we look right here, we got two pallets. And we've got a great demand at the moment. I wasn't planning it this way. I just wanted to sell some wool. But as I was getting ready to prep the video, the little warning popped up, the notice. So we're going to get about 20,000 euro, 20,000 pounds for what's on here. And then the other thing we're going to do today is water the animals. And we're also, I guess, just going to try to figure out what to do next. And carefully, there we go. And what I'm thinking is we'll open the dairy. And the reason why is, you know, on some maps, it's like there's, you have more things to do than you have time to do them. On this map, I feel like we're skipping a lot of time, almost too much time. I wouldn't say that we don't have enough to do. I mean, you have as much to do as, as you find things to do in that time. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? Yeah. I mean, if you, if you don't have enough to do, just come up with more things. And so I think what we'll come up with, so we have a little bit more to do, is we'll open the dairy. And I think between selling the canola and selling the soybeans, I think we're going to have quite a bit of money. I mean, if we sell the soybeans for their peak price, we'll get about 200 grand which is enough for us to buy a combine harvester and, I don't know, open the dairy or, whoa, carefully, or buy a combine harvester and buy a lot more sheep or whatever. And even when we sell this, this will take us up to uh, close to 45,000 pounds. And we... I wouldn't say that we don't have anything to do with this money, but what do we want to do with this money? I guess we'll just buy more sheep for now. So you see what I'm getting at. I hope I, I said that right. Uh, we're looking for a wool sell point over here somewhere. Yeah, I think I, I, I think that made sense. Sometimes it, it does, sometimes it does not. But I think you see what we're getting at. That could be a trigger right there. Let's give it a try. And man, when the lights turn on on this map, frame rate really takes a beating. That's not, I don't think that has anything to do with the map. I think that's more just the way lights and, and shadows can render in this game. All right. In here somewhere? Yeah, there's a trigger. And while we're sitting here, I'm going to wait till this zeroes out and we see what our total is. Oh. Well, it's 10,000 per ton, and those pallets are two tons a piece. So we didn't get 20,000. We got 41,000. Oh, this is, this is what I'm saying. We have more money than we know what to do with. Do we have a loan? No. We paid our loan off before I started. All right. So we're going to take this back. Uh, we won't take it all the way back. I guess we can take it back to right around the pasture or right around the wolf spawn. We'll drop it there. And then we need to go across the highway and drop some water off for a sheep. And while we're there, you want to buy more? I mean, why not? It's going to be a short episode. But, like I said, there's, there's not... I, I, I don't want to say there's not a lot to do on this map. Because it makes it sound like there's something wrong with the map. Or as though I'm implying there's something wrong with the map. Not the case at all. Just the way that we're playing, I think we need to find a, a different way to come at this map than we have at some maps in the past. So yeah, that's, uh, so we'll get 200,000 for our soybeans. That's a combine harvester and one other big capital purchase. And then we still have our canola to sell. And that will be hopefully 
Uh, it won't be 200,000, but hopefully it'll be 100 to 150,000 when we finally do sell it. And that's another big capital investment on the farm. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, you know where I can put this? I can go flip around up at the store and drop this right there. And then we'll come back, grab the tanker, drop some water off for the sheep. And while we're there, we'll buy some more. And we'll reverse the order on that. We'll actually buy more and then we'll then we'll water them so we can get the full amount in there. If we put the water in first, as soon as we buy the sheep, it will then be, you know what I'm saying? The, the volume will decrease like relative to the number of sheep that we have. All right. So we'll park this up and we'll go pull our little tanker out of the shed. I've been leaving it in there just for convenience sake. And I also, uh, bad, bad sim farming. I left these down here as well. They've been sitting here all winter. That happens. It happens. All right, so we'll pull this right around here. Drop that. And we'll go get some water for these animals. Now we can, yeah, we can back right in there. There we go. Hooked up. Let's open these gates. And you know what we can do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. Oh, hate to want to leave gates open. But you know what? That one was closed, so they wouldn't have got far. They would have only made it to right here. Let's do this. So we'll go here, and how many can we buy? One by 10? Yeah, it's a nice round number. All right. And then what we'll do is we will pull this thing through this gate, close it, we'll do a little airlock, right? So there's no escape. All right, so pull this out here. And we are, we're a little bit light. We've got eight grand right now, but we do have a ton of soybeans in the silo. If we needed some money day to day, we could just sell those. So we will refill this. And I don't think we need to go the whole way. We can just go like half to save time. Right about like there. Back this up. Carefully fighting, fighting the tank slapper. All right. Break. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Next episode, well, I guess next episode will be, uh, we'll either be selling soybeans and opening the dairy, or if the canola is ready before the price of soybeans maxes out, we'll be harvesting canola. All right. And I think we can, yeah, we can make that turn. Right up here. Let's see how these animals are doing. Wow, they really needed water. Okay. So we just added 10, but we're still making one, one animal per day. And I think that may adjust in the next, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes off camera. You know how it does. All right. And I'll throw some, I guess I could do it now on camera. I'll throw some hay in there as well. How are we doing on time? 10 minutes? Yeah, it's a different kind of map. It really is. There's a lot less driving than Western Shore. And I mean, we could, with the money that we make, we could buy fields, but we already own a dozen. And as small as the map is, and as small as the gates are, and as small as our equipment is, I don't know how many more fields I can handle. Right? That was the problem we ran into on Western Shores. We just had so many fields and there was 
just so much to do off camera. So right now, I mean, it took a while to harvest all that, all that soybean and get it hauled over there. And normally the answer would be, we'll just get a bigger combine harvester with a bigger header, get a bigger trailer, you know, that sort of thing. But I think we'll, we'll run out of room as small as this map is, as far as maneuvering and getting things around. All right, so we will hop in the Bobcat. We'll clip through the wall. All right, break this off. Trying to do this carefully without throwing the camera around too badly. Right there. Right, and then right there, and that's us ready to go. All right, I was not expecting to get 40,000 for that wool. I was thinking it was 10,000 per pallet, not 10,000 per per thousand liters. There we are. All right. I feel like we've ended an episode just like this previously with the skid steer and the MB track parked side by side. Right. Do that. Come out here. And that's, yeah, short episode, but once this map picks up, once we figure out what we want to do with it, I think they'll get a little bit longer. But there you have it. Thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 17. This is Gwender. We'll see you next time. Take care.